What's up, Xbox Nation? This is your boy Martian Matters, aka Solo Protocol, with an all you need to know about the E3 2014 Xbox coverage. Now, this is going to be a summary video with a lot of details in it, so for the sake of time and order, I'm going to categorize this in four sections, which are apps, the AAA titles for all other platforms, including Xbox, exclusive AAA titles, and ID at Xbox, which is the indie dev team. So stay tuned and after the video I'll be telling you about what I think about E3 in general and so on. Let's get into it. I used to be the type of kid that would always think the sky is falling. Why am I so differently wired? Am I a Martian? So on the post E3 show, an app was debuted and uh, which was the achievement app was debuted. It is to be enhanced and be snappable by fall. Now this app is going to track your achievement progress live and if you get an achievement and increases you can pin achievements by priority and do other stuff. And that was all about the apps. Oh also you can actually snap Skype now which is something I've been waiting for. Now the E3 show kicked off with Phil Spencer talking about how the whole show was going to be all about games. And then he introduced Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now a live demo of the campaign was played on stage and it looked freaking awesome. To be honest, I am on both sides about it. It has its bad and its good but it's got all these cool gadgets. You have energy guns that I heard are going to be in the multiplayer. You've got smart grenades, you've got awesome shields, heavy tanks and all that cool stuff. More about that in my next video that's going to be about all the next gen shooters we have coming up now again call of duty is going to come out november 4th by the end of this year and dlc first on xbox one which is one thing they kept stressing now the second game they debuted was evolve evolve debuts this fall on october of 21st on both platforms and dlc and beta first on xbox one Next up we have the Assassin's Creed Unity live demo. What you ought to know about this game is that it has a 4 player co-op on Xbox Live. So you can get in with 3 more friends and play the campaign. And the new character here is called Dorian, he's got a special weapon that's like a crossbow, a little mini crossbow on your arm with that also fires blades. Now again this Assassin's Creed takes place in France and the release date is October the 28th. Well make sure you check out that one. Now Dragon Age was shown after that and basically they had a little trailer and the whole Dragon Age stuff. I don't know much about this game but it comes out October the 7th of this year with content first on Xbox Live. So I'm assuming that's a DLC or something like that. Now a CGI trailer of Tomb Raider debuted after that, I gotta tell you, that CGI trailer looked awesome. But again, I'm a little bit mad because it's just a CGI trailer, it doesn't say anything, we don't know how awesome the game looks. But it comes out holiday 2015 and it's called Rise of the Tomb Raider. And whenever we get more information about that, I'll be putting it out in my channel because I actually love the Tomb Raider series, the reboot, I love it and we're gonna see more about that. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt also debuted a live gameplay demo. I gotta say, I do not know anything about all these games that have sorcery in it, but I am definitely gonna get this game. Although it has been delayed till 2015, the only reason why I want it is one, it's one of those few R-rated games where you actually slice someone into pieces. Now the action is intense, the graphics was good. And yeah, it's The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and it's coming out on Xbox One, hopefully PC, and PlayStation 4 2015. No date yet, but I am still, I am definitely sold with the live demo. Again, links to everything I talked about in the description, and make sure you check this one out. Now, another game that was debuted after The Witcher was The Division. This game, the more you see more gameplay demos, the more epic it is. I gotta say, Ubisoft brought the, this year to E3, like they just brought the fight. They had so many gameplays, some in pre-alpha, but we're not talking about that right now. 
Now on the Division, it's this kind of game. It's a third-person shooter if you don't know about it yet. And it, there's an epidemic after Black Friday and sleeper agents wake up to help the world and take back New York also. Now, this game is set in between the future but not too distant future. So it's not over the top Titanfall kind of future or, I don't know, advanced warfare kind of future. So you do see like they're still using guns but they got some advanced mine, a kind of 3D timeline scanner and all that cool stuff so definitely check out this live gameplay and also a cinematic CGI emotional trailer in the description below so now we're gonna talk about the Xbox one exclusives and I got to say we have an epic exclusive lineup for us this year in 2015 first of all Okay, we got a new IP game, Sunset Overdrive, coming out 28th of October. There was the live gameplay shown, that game is epic, it's like Dead Rising on Colorful Crack. Like, that's how I can only put it, and it's very beautiful, it's got so many weapons, so many combos, and I cannot wait to play that on the October 28th. Now, apart from that, we got Dance Central Spotlight, which is coming out this September. And we also have Dance Central Disney Fantasia, which is coming out next year. So, for now, we're going to have Dance Central Spotlight. So, for all those Kinect chicks that like rocking it, they're going to rock it. Now, we've got Fable Legends coming beta this fall. And you can go and register at Fable, thefablelegends.com. And you can register at beta and hopefully get in. There was also a live gameplay demo and I gotta say as usual it also looked awesome. I'm definitely gonna be playing that game. Now the biggest news of all that I took out of E3 was the Halo Master Chief Collection. This is gonna be just huge and epic, okay? Last time I covered a rumor saying that there was likeliness that this would exist and now it actually does. Now we're going to have Halo Master Chief Collection, it's going to be one disc packed with Halo Combat Evolved up to Halo 4. So we're going to have 2, 3, 4 and Combat Evolved. Now this game is going to be awesome, it's going to actually be in 1080p 60 frames per second. Now as for Halo 2, they got 6 Halo 2 maps remade into high definition, it's getting the whole treatment like they said. Um, you're gonna have you're gonna be able to switch in between the new Halo 2 and the classic Halo 2. This is gonna be awesome. And now, whenever you pre-order and purchase this, it's gonna come with two extra goodies. First of all, you're gonna get a beta access with to Halo 5, which comes this December. So pre-order y'all to get your beta access. And second, you're gonna have Halo Nightfall. Now, Halo Nightfall is going to be a short TV show series produced by Ridley Scott. According to 343 Industries, the TV series Halo Nightfall is going to be a follow-up from Halo 4 and the story is going to lead, lead to the new Halo 5 coming out next year which is Halo Guardians. Now from what I see, it, from the story and the trailer they showed, by the way, they only showed a CGI trailer. From the trailer they showed, it seems that someone is checking out Master Chief. So Halo 5 is going to be epic. And I'll be covering everything Halo on my channel, so make sure you subscribe for that if you haven't yet. Now, apart from the whole Halo talk, there is going to be 4000 G achievement to seek out. I'm an achievement whore, I'll say that proudly every time, I'm going to be looking for that, 4000 G achievements, we're going to have dedicated servers and it's only going to be on Xbox One. So when you buy this disc, you're going to have an interface of Halos 1 to 4 and Combat Evolved, but all the maps unlocked and you can play through everything and you can even have a specific playlist to play the categories you want to and all that cool stuff. Now another CGI trailer for Phantom Dust was shown 
Well, this is the first time it's shown. It's a classic Xbox original game, and it's coming out back on the Xbox One remade. It looks awesome, and yeah, you just can't deny that game. Now, one more game coming out called Scale Bound is an exclusive that looks crazy. I don't know if it's an RPG from the CGI trailer, and they love to deceive us with these CGI trailers, but it looks awesome. It's this kid with a sword, this cool Asian or white boy anime character with a sword, and if he stabs anything, he can basically adapt the power of that thing. So in the trailer, he stabs a dragon, and he has dragon scales, and all that cool stuff. And it's called Scale Bound. We have no information about when it's gonna come out or anything like that. So we'll look out for it. Another final awesome exclusive was Crackdown. Crackdown is coming back. We don't know when. It's probably 2015. But it looks crazy. So I cannot wait for that. that. Now overall, epic set of exclusive. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and list all the games at Xbox ID. Some of these are exclusive Xbox games, some of these are not. And uh, well, we're gonna have Ori and the Blind Forest. Now, I saw the trailer for this, it looked really emotional, and it just told the story of this little cute monster with a monster ape mom. And just watch the trailer description in the comments below. Now, Ori is highly likely to be an Xbox One exclusive indie game and um, Inside by Play Dead Studios is also highly likely to be an exclusive game. We have also one game coming out, I think it's called Trees, it's an iOS game that's coming out on the Xbox One. You can snap this game and play by the side, which is awesome, it's like one of those puzzle games you can just keep by the side and do whenever you need maybe watching a YouTube video or watching Hulu, which is what I do. Now, all these other games that are coming out at ID include Aztez, Night Squad, The Plague, Night White, Earthlock, Cuphead, Heart Machine, Lifeless Planet, and Fru, and many other more. And all these are coming soon. Check out the E3 Xbox live demos on Twitch to see all the indie games that they're demoing. And that's all I can get for you guys for this E3 coverage. Now, for my opinion, I honestly think that this E3 went awesome. I would have loved to see more exclusives like Gears of War or at least a trailer about it and stuff like that. And as for the third party games, uh, I think that most of the ones with live gameplay were very, very choreographed, like the Assassin's Creed. Because in my opinion, if I'm going in with my friends to play Assassin's Creed, there's going to be one troll among us who's going to try to do some random unnecessary stuff and we yell at each other until we decide to not be co-op anymore and go back to single player. So yeah, and like I said again, I got a video coming out talking about all the next shooters that are coming, both first person and third person, to the Xbox One this year, next year, and beyond. Now, I'm a very, very big first person shooter guy, but I also enjoy other games, and for everything Xbox One, make sure you subscribe to this channel. More videos coming out soon. I will see you next time, and you have been informed. The moment you own it, you better never let it go You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow This opportunity comes once in a